Hey and welcome back to my channel. I'm currently at the library with this lovely background and my fuzzy rain hair. In this video I'm going to be talking about my experience doing the potato reset where you basically eat veggies and potatoes. I did it for two weeks. This was the kickstart of my 40 pound weight loss journey. So come and see the experience and the benefits. I'm going to be sharing those at the end. Hey y'all, so it's day one of the potato reset and so I've put all this like sweet potato into the oven. You see there, yeah. yum, yum. And I've also got um, my broccoli ready to put in the microwave and steam up. And I love this steamer because I don't like cooking all the time, which you kind of have to do when you're on the potato reset um but so this is really handy i just put it in the microwave and then my broccoli done super quick yeah so i'm gonna go get a coffee now because that's something i'm gonna allow myself to have while i'm on the reset it's a real kind of like blustery day today this is your weather report and i just want to know is there anyone else like me i hate wearing pants the only pants that i like wearing are track pants like sweatpants so winter time i'm like all rugged up in like cozy jumpers and then short live since i've started trying to do this whole youtube thing i've been like getting on the no copyright music train and like it's my jam now like go check it out they have some like awesome music on there like i'll link to like my favorite youtube channel for that but like check out this sound this is like this is really really cool put the bass on the track on my face in the back like i'm taking a slap i need to drink bass straight from the tap and i'm hating the slack couple man slide around like the hate in the gaff please stop talking that trash because the vibes in the fun all the way to the back So we did our little dance party. Moo had some movement, burned off some calories, so now I'm gonna have my breakfast. Um which is <coughs> well croak croaky. Okay, I'll show you what I'm gonna eat. I've got some sweet potato, we call it kumbra that I've roasted up, and then I've also got my uh, broccoli. Man, I'm a croaky as well. So this is gonna be my meal. Hey all, so I'm eating my first meal of the day. It's about 10 o'clock. I normally would eat a lot earlier than this, but I went and got a coffee, so I wasn't very hungry. All you peeps who skip breakfast, don't do it. It's not, it's not good for you. There's a massive link between people who skip breakfast and obesity. Just be aware that doesn't mean that there's a causation. It just means that there is a correlation of different things. But anyway, I'm gonna be eating my broccoli and my sweet potato. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'm gonna really enjoy this. And yes, it's all plain. Part of the reason that <clears throat> the potato reset is, oh, I'm always croaky, is so good. <coughs> um, that's how you do it, COVID-19. Um, is because it actually helps to reset your taste buds so you get used to eating like plain food more. And a lot of time people ask me like, what do you put for sauces? What do you do for this? And a lot of time I do, but being able to actually enjoy the, the real taste of your food is also something that is really positive if, you, if you're wanting to get used to eating plainer food, get used to eating like more vegetables so that you're actually able to, to do that for the long term. And that's really going to be the change between what you're doing now and then slim confident you in the future who is going to lose weight is eating a ton more veg. So I'm going to do this. This is how much I've got. If I want more, I'll have more. This is my first meal of the day. First day of the potato race hut. So it's day three of the potato reset and I'm only having I'm having lunch now. It's 3.20. Like this is not good. I am really, really hungry. Um I think one thing that happens when you're doing like things like this is that you have less of a desire to eat because you're obviously just eating quite plain food. Um, I've been really, really busy lately. So I'm going to eat some broccoli now. I just steam up my brock in this um, microwave steamer. So I'm just eating that with Japanese sweet potato. We just call them kumara, like red, yellow kind of kumara here. They look like this. They're kind of like red on the outside. some and some broccoli. 
broccoli. Yeah, I love cream and broccoli, eh? And and I gave her some and it looks apples like just this. in case she's hungry. Thanks, she's hon. Hungry. Thank you. And I'm just eating up this um like sweet potato like this. It's actually really yum. I never thought that I would enjoy food this plain, but that's what I'm finding this time around. I'm just I'm okay eating really plain foods and that's interesting for me. Like that's really fascinating because the first time I did this, um, when I first started losing weight, I really had to eat quite like gourmet, kind of like potato-y dishes. And now I'm just like, yep, sweet potato and broccoli. I'm good. Guys, this is so incredibly good. Like I feel like I'm a true vegan now that I'm eating like a sweet a plain sweet potato like this. Like it's it's weird. It's actually just so so good. And something like I work as a chef in a cafe and so quite often I will just bring like a whole sweet potato like a Japanese sweet potato like this put it in the oven while I'm working and then this will be my lunch and it's it's just honestly real yum like you don't even have to be like a weird vegan to like this like I think that even you or whoever you are will enjoy this morning so it's I think it's like day it's day eight and I'm so tired what a face anyway so because I'm eating potatoes for breakfast normally sweet potatoes if I'm honest um which is fine I it's I'm gonna just prep some up quickly now in the oven and then I'm just gonna go out my day and then they'll be ready for me when I'm time it's time to have breakfast and I'm doing an interview with Potato Wisdom today, so I'm a little bit nervous to do that this morning. I'm going to prep this up. Hello, I hope I don't have broccoli in my teeth. So I'm eating this meal of mine I had, so this is half a sweet potato, I had three of these and I haven't gotten through them and I had two heads of broccoli. The broccoli is kind of raw, I'm not a true, I mean I am a true vegan but I'm not like a proper vegan because I don't, I don't love it. Um, I'm getting my way through it and this food is real plain, like it's, it's not the nicest stuff in the world, like I like the sweet potato but I'm not a massive fan of slightly raw broccoli but I'm just too lazy to go up and cook it more but not every meal has to be like super gourmet or as my family would say super gourmet and delicious like it just some meals just have to fuel you so and that's what this one is doing this sweet potato is yum if you're gonna subscribe to me you've got to get used to me eating talking with my mouth or I'm sorry it's just it's just so <laughs> yeah, not every meal has to be super exciting. So we're just going for a bit of a bush walk, trying to get out and about and move around a bit. I'm not normally the kind of person that carries the kids on my back. I'm not one of those mums because I don't feel like I want to beat a pack horse all the time. I'd much rather push a pram. But this is what we're doing because we can't really get a pram in this terrain. So we're giving it a go. Gotta get down the belt. Hey. Yeah. It's, yeah, well, I don't know what day it is. I'm I'm to reset. They're kind of all blending into one along with the lockdown. But look at this place. This place is like, this is beautiful around here. Whoa. Look at this. This is amazing. Not go in the water. Yeah. You love it? Yeah. yeah. So another reason that I really don't like baby backpacks, I feel like this is complaining with Charles Day. But like, I don't know if you can see this, it actually makes your stomach, like it makes all the fat on your stomach kind of be squashed out and it's really uncomfortable. And especially when I was like 40 pounds heavier. That's the really annoying thing I found about these kind of packs is like you just it just feels really unflattering and it squishes out your tummy. 
I, and, and I'll admit like I don't have I don't really have much of that happening now but it's still still that pressure there we're going at the stream to follow to, to we're following the stream to see if it has a waterfall do you think it will yep because there are a lot because I think there is because I can hear lots of boom, boom, this boom. place is so nice say hey, look at that stream down there you like it like water smile Morgan smile for the camera <laughs> I have no idea how we got onto the subject, but we're pretending that there's aliens all around and we're shooting them with guns. Morgan, you got your gun? This is, this is Morgan's gun. And it's honestly so hilarious, but it's going to crack me up if some people take offense at this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we've been having an awesome game about catching these aliens. I better be, go because. Yeah, over there, quick, quick. So I made some like sweet potato kind of like chocolatey mousse and it's it really isn't very potato reset because potato reset is all about eating like simply and um like getting your taste buds used to eat, eating simple food like i don't really know how long i'm gonna do it for so i'm not being like super strict i made a little bit of it i wanted to give it a go and i put a little bit of berry so i'll show you what it looks like it's like seriously a very kind of oh i need a spoon like, there's a little bit left in there. It's like a really kind of gooey kind of mousse. It's really, it tastes really good. And like you can see over here, I just made these little bowls. Put some berries on top. Pretty yum. It's got like a really good like texture. What's the verdict? That's nice. It's super gooey. Yeah, I know. So it's like cake batter, eh? Mm. It's got um like the roasted sweet potato and then cocoa powder. It's got a little bit of um stevia in it and then some vanilla and soy mm. milk. It's good with the berries. Mm. Hey, so I'm gonna be completely honest, it's actually been like probably a month since I finished like doing this little potato reset experiment thing. But I wanted to share with you some of my results. Basically, didn't notice anything different on the scales, didn't lose any weight, but I did get a little bit more toned in my legs. And just to clarify what that means, like people always talk about being toned and like they think that's an exercise thing. If you can see muscle visibility, it's because you've reached quite a low body fat percentage. So that's about your nutrition, that's about your energy balance, um, that's not just about working out in the gym. So just to clarify what that actually means, it means that I did actually burn a little bit of fat. So that's really interesting there. Just to clarify as well, like I'm not someone that needs to lose weight, but it, it's nice for me to see that there was like a little bit more muscle definition in my legs. The thing that was more interesting for me though was when I started doing the potato reset, like I was quite keen to get like a tiny bit leaner. Uh, I thought that that would be something that was really cool to do, but it was not something that I was really worried about. But through doing the potato reset, like eating as much food as I wanted and like eating like potatoes and sweet potatoes, which I love and lots of broccoli and all that kind of thing. And just, just doing what I was doing and realizing how much I loved eating like simple foods. It actually got me to a point where it's like, I'm fine with how I am right now. Like I'm not even going to try anymore. It's not worth it to me and I like eating the way that I eat. So it actually Im even like improved my relationship with food more. Like I felt like I already had quite a good relationship with food, but it, I feel like it improved it more. So the takeaway from this, it's kind of hard because you always go, well, people are going to take what they want in a way out of it. And doing something like this might be considered extreme for some people. But if you've come from like a standard American diet, then or you're like a bit of a junk food vegan, then being able to actually simplify your taste buds down to a point where you are happy eating something like broccoli and sweet potato for breakfast. Like that's actually something positive. That's moving you in the right direction of, of incorporating the kind of foods that you're going to be wanting to eat a lot of when you're trying to lose weight. And why it's great for weight loss is, I mean, number one, it's developing those good habits, like I said, of eating those kind of foods that you're going to want to eat. 
And then it's also really easy to get into a calorie deficit, which is vital for weight loss um, because you're eating low calorie foods. Like vegetables are very, very low in calories. Even things like sweet potatoes and potatoes are comparatively very low in calories and also very, very satisfying. So very hard to overeat on, particularly when you're eating those vegetables. So would I recommend people doing it? I would definitely recommend looking into it. I think that it can be like a really helpful tool. One thing that I found really fascinating was I put like a sample of like a day in chronometer, which tracks like your nutrients and your calories and things like that, just to see where I was tracking nutritionally. And even though this is something that you do for a short period of time, I still was hitting like all my nutritional targets. I was getting like 60 grams of protein, like all of my um, like vitamin needs just from eating like broccoli and sweet potato. So I think that that's fascinating considering that people will do things like keto no one bats an eye where you were not going to hit like you were not even going to get your, the minimum of your vitamin c on a keto diet or like if you're portion controlling and you're eating like tiny amounts of foods you're going to be nutrient deficient from that but it's really funny because i think like a lot of people go like whoa like eating broccoli and sweet potato like that's extreme but you fill your nu nutritional targets doing it I'm just saying so anyway short period of time and since then like I'm obviously not doing that anymore but I've actually still I'm still eating like sweet potato and broccoli a lot of the time for breakfast I actually prefer it now over oatmeal which is yeah it's funny it's real funny how that happens so I hope you liked this video and let me know what you think and subscribe I'll see you soon